wife Julie and I live on a property here called Old Paisley. Her family have been here for oh, almost 100 years. Now we mainly run goats, cattle and, and a few sheep. We've been here two years full time. Our son Angus and his wife Emily and their daughter Zara are becoming part of the farm so they'll be fourth and fifth generation people who've been on this property. The things we're doing that, you know, I might not see some of them but hopefully uh, they'll get the benefit of that. Behind me here is the original exclusion fence. In the last five years, we've replaced that fence. My brother-in-law organised all the local farmers together. We had a meeting, and as a result of that meeting, Ross and I went ahead and did the exclusion fence. Since then, they've all jumped on board and are getting the benefits of the state government's initiative, which is to fund these exclusion fences. The fence has allowed us to do what we want to do now, which is goats, cattle, sheep, but to control the kangaroos and the wild dog. The funding for this program has come from the National Landcare Program, which is aiming to showcase some of the sustainable practices that landholders are implementing within our region. As part of the National Land Care Program, Peter has received funding from the Regional Land Partnerships Program. Peter's done a range of sustainable trials off his own back and he's always keen to have a go at anything. This is important because he's able to share his own experiences with his neighbours, the local community and then the global community. First step for us was to put the exclusion fence up and then everything follows. The goal going forward is to try and have the least number of mobs as possible so that you can increase the intensity of the animals in the pasture while they're there. We have a paddock that I did do some deep ripping and uh, having contours helps to hold the water for a bit longer. The water's gone from leaving the paddock in two hours to um, about four days. We have a Land for Wildlife area, which Southern Queensland Landscape set up seven years ago, and we have a lot of koalas there. Our income has gone up because we were running 50 cattle and selling wieners, and now we're running 25 cows and about 700 nannies, but we are producing more kilos Infiltration will go up, our water holding capacity will grow up, we'll grow more grass and we'll be able to hopefully run more animals but run them so that we've got more resilience. I think the connections in the industry are really important. There's a lot of people out there that can help us and, uh, and that's the beauty, you're not here on your own. There's a lot of local, real good knowledge with land care and Southern Queensland landscape and congratulations on doing a great job. <laughs>